Ah. How's it going, boys? Welcome back to the stream where we do the things we want to do. Fun things, fun things, super fun. Welcome back to the stream. I like smoking reef. Me, 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 me. How's it going, chat? Hello, welcome back. How's it going? Hello, chats. Welcome back, chats. Welcome back, chats. Imagine being super late. I was 13 minutes late, not because I was actually at a Starbucks waiting for my drinks, but because it's a really good algorithm play to boost viewership in the final 10 minutes. YouTube will push your stream a lot if you're late. So... Got my Starbies, though. <laughs> Oh, wait. That's why all the WL guys make fun of me. is because I say things like, got my Starbies, though, and then quote SpongeBob, and I'm 27. <sighs> why doesn't anyone tell me this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got, I gotta know I can change I can be W You broke Asan's toilet I resent these claims I find them to be Unfounded I find them to be irreparable In the damage they cause I also find them to be Flagrantly false Okay not only did I improve Hassan's bidet experience, I also fixed his toilet. Now, having said all of that, unbeknownst to Hassan, I flooded his bathroom and I had to quickly clean that up. So he doesn't know about this. I'm hoping we can keep this amongst us. Mum's the word, <laughs> you know. Um, he has no clue. None the wiser. Honestly, how would he know unless Marat told him a month later? You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Easy. Oh, a bunch of fucking little rat narcs here. A bunch of little... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A bunch of fucking little, little narcs. I'll moderate your asses. No, what's up? Come through. I, I love moderation. Um, Bang. Anyway, regardless, so I fixed it this morning, luckily, okay? He did not Assless fix it, by the way. Butt wig. This no dude's talking like he's blue collar. He's talking like he got into the weeds of it and changed the catalytic converter on his car. Changed the run start capacitor on his, on his air conditioning unit. Now, what happened? All right? What happened is his toilet was so poorly set up that the solution that I don't think he did this, by the way, the the way that the toilet works. <sighs> Let me show you guys to inside a toilet, insider baseball, insider toilet. OK, here it is. So this is the general toilet. All right, this is this is how toilets usually go. Here's what Hassan's problem was. This tube right here, so the, the way it works is this is the flappy thing. So when you pull down the handle, it lifts up. This flappy thing goes up. All the water that's in this basin drains from this into the toilet bowl, washing away all the poop, and then, and then goes into, um, I don't know, a lake. And then it fills through this device right here. All right, this device pumps out water. Now this tube, this tube, the only job it has 
is to carry the water and make sure it points downwards so that it shoots into the basin. That's all this tube does. It is clipped onto this. The water does not go into the pipe. It merely goes around the pipe. This is an overfill pipe. If for whatever reason, your stopper, because there's there's a device that the, the, this is on a chain, and once, once it reaches a certain point, it stops having water uh, um, uh, fill it in. But, but, but anyway, but that's the point of this. Hassan's toilet, when I went there, did not have this tube. It was on the side. So the water was pouring straight out of this before I did anything. But the reason it wasn't a problem is because the water pressure was turned so low that it came out like, like I imagine 55-year-old men with baseball-sized prostates piss comes out. You know, basically think of Atrioc for a moment, real arc to that bitch, right? When I turned the pressure up, which is required for this bidet to work at, at maximum functionality. So I set everything up, I put the bidet in, and I noticed the bidet, the bidet was really soft in pressure. I turned the pressure up, that shit was like, like just, just squirting out there. All right, just full blast, like a family guy vomit scene, just blasting. And then it was going so fast that it was leaking through the handle because there's a little hole where the handle is. It's not sealed properly. I mean, it's never sealed properly. It's just, it's usually just a hole. And it was just leaking through that, um, which actually isn't why I flooded his bathroom. That was from my ineptitude. But. I had to reattach this, but it wasn't on that well when I left, so I can imagine it, it it unattached again. And that's why, and that's why his bathroom flooded. Not on me, not on me. I don't really know anything about it, and I don't really care. Ludwig is 50-50 on his bidet installations. About Ludwig's, Ludwig installing bidets. He said so far he has a 50% chance success rate. What? He's installed two bidets before. He said he flooded Hassan's <laughs> bathroom. Uh, and he, what happened to Myth's bathroom? What? Something bad. Something bad. And, I, and, I, and then I covered the door. I was like, no, you don't need to go in, actually. I don't really know anything about it, and I don't really care. Ludwig is 50-50. <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> it's impossible for me to refute these claims because they are, without a doubt, 100% accurate. And if you thought what I did to Hassan's bathroom was bad, you don't even want to know about what happened to Myth's bathroom. That motherfucker is ruined, all right? The seat's barely even on. That shit wobbly as hell, okay? And now I got to give myself a little bit of kudos in what feels like a bit of a shit storm on me. Oh, uh, leave it to Twitch streamers. Am I right, fellas? Leave it to some Twitch streamers to just cook up more drama. One more day of drama. I guess they weren't done yet. These rats. Next, we're going to find out that Mitch Jones was recording me the whole time while I was flooding Hassan's bathroom. Despicable. Anyway, I am three things. A streamer, someone who's very interested in bidets, and I am Maya Higa. So, with all those in mind, I had a plan yesterday, because if you, if you guys haven't heard yet, I made my own bidet. I made my own. Uh, and it's and it's coming out very soon, in a couple of weeks here. And I thought a really cool way to show off my bidet would be to, because you, by show of hands, who uses bidets here? Let's start like that. By show of hands, I, I use a bidet. I am not ashamed. Oh, I use a bidet. Me, a lot of nos, a lot of nos, to the yesers. Can I get an amen? If you're tired of going out to friends' places, restaurants, maybe even vacations, because the shitting experience drops by a factor of 10 the moment you leave your home. And anytime you're leaving for more than six hours, maybe you got a sip of coffee in you, all of a sudden the bowels start turning. You're like, oh shit, here we go again. I got to do it the old-fashioned way where I clean my ass with what is basically paper rakes as opposed to the hygienic way that makes me feel good. I hate it. 
I hate it. I hate leaving my house. I hate going to other people's places. So my idea, and there will be a video about this that goes more in depth, was, was a simple one. I would, no, would nothing, cra nothing crazy. I would simply break in to several YouTubers' homes who I hang out at and switch out their toilet to add a bidet on. That, that's a good, and that is a good idea. A good, kind-hearted, right, thoughtful, somewhat self-obsessed idea. Shortly after breaking into the homes and in attempting to install the bidets, I noticed a problem, which was, I don't know how to fucking do it very well. All right, not, not to say I'm bad at it, but I, you know, and the video will come out so you guys will see it, but some, some things happened. Some things happened. I'm not proud of everything I did. I think I owe Hassan 500 in water damage. I probably owe Myth $1,000 for how much I broke in his house. He doesn't even know about this yet. He's going to watch this clip. He won't even know what I broke. He has no clue. I, I just destroyed it. He won't know. The video will come out, and then I'll have to send an apology. Seek forgiveness, not approval. That's what I always say. But can we talk about the success? Knockout. Home run that I had when I went in to Leslie's bathroom. That bidet was set up not only perfectly, but I would say in record time. Record time. Like... Maybe less than 10 minutes. I was in and out. And and it looks beautiful. Can I show you guys this? It looks genuinely beautiful. Now, it's already been leaked, so I might as well talk about it here. It's already leaked. It's already leaked. It's not going to be called Ludwig's Bidet, right? I don't want people to think of me when they're taking a shit or a piss. That's weird. Okay. It's not going to be called Mogul Moves Bidets. What is that? It's like what Trump is going to try to sell to January 6th. The January 6th special Mogul Bidets. It's kind of weird. It's called Swipe. What do we think about that? By the way, if you're just tuning in from Hassan's stream, I did flood his bathroom. He doesn't even really know how bad it was. It was fucking, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It's really bad. There was a lot of water. There was a lot of water for like a while. For a while. I used like a, a lot of paper cleaning that up because I didn't want him to know. I even d distracted him so we could walk out the door with all the trash. He didn't even know. That himbo, dumb as hell. Not even going to lie. <laughs> we walked right by him. Like a mountain of papers like this. And I went up next to him and I was like, we should start an org. In front of LSF. That was just a, I was just trying to hide it. I didn't, I didn't even give a shit about starting an org. That was a lie. I made that up. I thought of it on the way downstairs. And that's why I think Hassan's like one of the people really pushing politics. And we need more people like that in the live stream space specifically. I, I'm fucking tired of like a bunch of children. Anyway, boys, we got to get to some serious shit today. Oh, appreciate the uh, membership there. Thank you for that. <laughs> Holy shit, I executed that perfectly. Oh, fuck! Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Hassan came back the moment. Oh, that was stressful. Stressful! It's called Swipe. Hassan's stream, I did flood his bathroom. He doesn't even really know how bad it was. It was fucking, it was bad. It was bad, it was bad. Really bad. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of water for a while. For a while. I used like a, a lot of paper cleaning that up because I didn't want him to know. What? I even d distracted him so we could walk out the door with all the trash. He didn't even know. <laughs> that himbo, dumb as hell. Not even going to lie. <laughs> we walked right by him. Like a mountain of papers. Like this. <laughs> and I went up next to him and I was like, we should start an org. In front of LSF. I was just a, I was just trying to hide it. I didn't, I didn't even give a shit about starting an org. That was a lie. I made that up. I thought of it on the way downstairs. <laughs> and that's why I think Hassan's like one of the people really pushing <laughs> politics. And we need more people like that in the live stream space specifically. 
I, I'm fucking tired of like a bunch of children. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, boys, we got to get to some serious shit today. Uh, yeah, some serious shit is you'll be hearing from my fucking lawyers, <laughs> bitch. Wow. Don't wipe, swipe. Oh, I kind of love that. Yeah, I'm calling it Swipe. Swipe a days. I love the name. There's two products that I'm releasing. One is the Swipe, which is an attachment. It goes with any toilet. The other is Swipe Plus, which is a whole standalone seat. How did he fucking do that, dude? That's insane. Ah, it was normal. It was not insane. It was normal. What he doesn't know Does is Does he I have spyware in the bidets? What yeah. the fuck's happening, bro? I have audio what? recording equipment. Fucking uh, Chinese government. I have audio recording equipment that when the weight of his body sits in the toilet seat activates. So it's actually specifically calibrated for him so that I don't listen to anybody else. Already signed off by the FBI, by the way. So it doesn't really matter. You can't really do anything about it. <laughs> it's like, no, you're not even that big of a deal. Working with Xi Jinping and the CCP in order to spy on all your favorite streamers. They're going to start promoting the bidet. Everyone's going to get the bidet. And then everyone is going to have their assholes spied on all the time. Yeah, this is like the uh, it's like this is like the streamer version of uh, Bill Gates trying to use the vaccine to get everybody in like the five G radio chip, but it's me with bidets trying to break into all your homes. <laughs> no, but for real, we actually really do care about privacy and security, which is why I am the only part of the company who's willing to break in people's homes. Okay. Can't believe this dude's doing this to people. Anyway, yeah, this was Iraq 2003, the siege of... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. There's no latch between the vag with this guy. You can't just go zero to 100 like that. A little bit of foreplay, you know what I mean? Warm us up to, to the siege. Whew. My God, he jumps from bidets to siege. There's no in between with this man. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about how the Ponchon Llama has been abducted by the CCP. All right. Well, that's that's what I was up to yesterday, boys. That's why I didn't stream. I literally woke up. I started my journey of going to people's houses. It took me driving included about seven. No, it took me about nine hours driving included. Little food break here and there to set up three bidets and film everything. And then I got home. I was I was pooped. I was pooped, so I didn't stream anymore. Where's the vlog? It won't come out for a couple weeks. It'll come out when the bidets are out, which is mid-October. I believe the date right now is October. Let me say something out loud so that I'm married to it, so that if I'm wrong, you guys yell at me. October 14th, the bidets will release. October 14th, the, the bidets will release. I don't, I didn't get, I don't know. I don't think they'll sell out immediately because they're kind of expensive, but I don't know. I thought I ordered a lot. I've ordered around like a little under 10,000, which to me was a lot of bidets. Price, $50 and then $500. But mostly I'm just selling the $50 one. Fifty for like the main attachment bidet, which is cheaper than Tushy, which is probably my main competitor in uh, terms of quality for for products. Because I think it's genuinely a bit nicer than the cheapest one on Amazon, which sits around like thirty dollars, maybe thirty five with shipping. So the fifty for the attachment, I, I, it's like thirty dollars cheaper than Tushy, which is about eighty. The fifty dollar one does not require electricity at all. All right, boys. Anyway, that's what I got up to yesterday. Uh, we got a couple of videos we got to watch. First and foremost, the new Mr. Beast video. I kind of wanted to watch uh, because I I saw this. We saw this. Did we put? We, did we put this in the yard episode? Do we put this in the yard episode? Because I remember when I went to record the yard with Mr. Beast. 
he showed us this. It was it was it was the most. You know how there's that Meat Canyon video of Mr. Beast where he's like he's like at the hospital and he's like, I forget I forget it honestly I can't quote it really well. Meat Canyon, Mr. Beast. I saved a human life challenge. Yeah. Today I just bought my most terminally ill fan his replacement heart. Yeah, like that. <laughs> This video is the most I've ever felt like Mr. Beast is like that because I went to his place to record the yard and he said to me, he looks and he goes, hey, you want to see my guy out back? Which is a terrifying sentence to hear. That's not a great start to a sentence. All right. That sentence is probably a, like a, a deleted scene in Silence of the Lambs. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I've had a guy out there for 50 days. Not a better, like, second sentence. You know what I mean? That doesn't save it. If the concern in the first sentence was like, oh, my God, he has a guy out back. This is so concerning. He has no, he's, like, killing someone. And then you say he's been there for 50 days. You don't, you're not like, oh, woof, whew. I was worried there. <laughs> That's also terrible. All right? That's also ter terrifying to hear. And then I go see the guy, and the guy was very cheery, very nice. But, but, uh, but this is, this is his story. Survive 100 days in a, in, in circle, win $500,000. I wonder what the logic is, and it might be very minute. What, why not survive 100 days in a circle? Is it because you sh are showing the circle? It's probably because you're showing the circle. Why not say in the circle then? Why remove the article? Survive 100 days in the circle, win 500000 I guess you can't say a circle because it's very clearly one circle. It's not any circle. And you can't say the circle because it's not this circle that you're showing. So it's a bit of a lie? Because survive 100 days in circles grammatically... This, this sentence is grammatically incorrect, right? Am I crazy? An article loses viewers' attention. Are we sure about that? Or are we just saying that because Mr. B... Like, uh, what I always wonder is, is this true? Or are we rationalizing it because Mr. B did, did, did it? Is the evidence the thing that I'm putting in question? And that's what it feels like. Feels like you are saying that because Mr. Beast does it. I'm asking, is Mr. Beast doing it right? And you're saying, yes, he is because Mr. Beast is doing it. There's some philosophy term for that. It is, so therefore it must be. Something like that. Some Albert Camus shit or something. Descartes? Descartes? All right. Don't you have a degree? Yeah, in English literature. And I didn't read a single book. You know why I didn't read a single book? My first fucking class that was all about one author was on was on Milton, who's on God the most boring motherfucker to come out of the UK. All right? He's the most boring fucker to come out of that place. John Milton. This guy sucks. This dude wrote one book, Paradise Lost, and then just wrote a bunch of political shit for the rest of his life. Because he was mad at the king because he wanted a divorce or something. I don't know. Weird guy. Hassan texted me and said, I'm suing you for water damage. <laughs> He wrote his epic while blind. So? Don't care. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck John Milton. All right, let's watch a video. Highlight a giant circle in the middle of nowhere. And this is a random subscriber. And if he stays in this circle for 100 days, I'll give him $500,000. Step inside the circle and the 100 day counter will start. The timer is ticking. He has to survive in this circle. Do you think he thinks at all about the amount of money he gives away? Like this video could be called survive 100 days in a circle. I get 100 days. That makes sense. Win 100,000. Win a million. Like how do you think he comes up with that? Do you think he was like, okay... What is the lowest amount I can do that someone would actually do this for? I feel like he just makes it up and then there's a team of people around him who try to justify the cost.
I guess there's only three numbers you could do here. It's 100,000, 500,000, and a million. And a million might be too much money. 100,000 is not nearly enough for 100 days. And so I think 500,000 is probably the, the, the smallest amount you could do. Because then the other numbers don't sound good in a title. I don't think, I mean, maybe win 250,000 sounds good. I just think 250,000 sounds worse than a round number. I think it sounds worse than 100,000. Circle for 100 days. There's nothing here. There's nothing yet. Crap! I'm about to drop off a house. I love Chris. This definitely gives me more confidence. I bet you didn't know you could lift a house with a crane. I bet Chris doesn't know how to operate training. a crane. Okay, which one's the gas again? <laughs> Oops. We're jumping the stairs. You know what, actually? And inside this house is all the food, clothes, and supplies he needs to survive 100 days. Oh, no. This could have been a lot worse. Oh, my God. And this is Sean's family. I want to let you guys get one final goodbye in before he's... <laughs> this is so dystopian. Start of the challenge. Oh. Daddy! <laughs> you guys will be here when I walk out of that circle with a half million dollars. It's such, like, a formative part of kids' lives. Like, 100 days is so incredibly long. I feel like we should not glaze over that commitment that is so long imagine if you were a kid and your dad just left for 100 days i mean my dad decided to do it for 17 years <laughs> kill that motherfucker's crazy but 100 days especially at like peak forming thoughts and stuff crazy that's a summer yeah it's a, it, that's a great point it is literally the summer but i'm gonna miss you guys Aww. i'm gonna cry a little okay. bit the video just started and it's already emotional Good luck, $500,000 is on the line. To be honest, it's a little emotional, but uh, 300,000 calories, 100 days. I've got a plan. Get the food organized, clothing figured out, figure out a way to keep my mind entertained. And I know if I walk out of that circle, I will regret it forever. One night down, 99 to go. Let's go get organized. All right, strategy session number one. I like, in no offense to this dude, how he's old. Because now I feel like he's way smarter at this challenge. I hate when there's challenges, and again, no offense, with a bunch of college kids who are just seem like, and, and this is going to sound mean, a bunch of whiny fucking brats who just want to win the money from Mr. Beast and don't give a shit about like the survival aspects. This feels like a dude that would be scouted for the Discovery Channel. You know what I mean? I got to figure out what I got, how much I got, and what I'm going to do to organize it. This is all the food you're getting for the next 100 days. So if you eat all this in the first, let's say, 50 days, you're done. Yeah, it looked like a lot more food until I started condensing it down. Sean. <laughs> Hello. We have over a dozen cameras monitoring his every move 24-7. If he steps on that red line, we will see it. What do you think the hardest part of this Ray challenge March. will be? Solo failure. No one beats me. I didn't get outplayed. He's still mean, talking so to us, and we're outside the trailer. Being in my own. <laughs> That's so mean. You're dapping Ed, up for that. Hey, Sean, uh, I think they walked away. God, I hate them. Because Chris dropped my house so perfectly, my shower doesn't drain. Huge shout out, Chris. Really appreciate 100 days of dealing with this. It was cloudy, so I think oh, it's a perfect day sucks. to get outside and try to plant some vegetables. Oh, I gotta pay attention where I'm walking because if I walk across that, game over. That red line is death. If I touch it, it's over. So I'm gonna take the wood out back and create kind of like a secondary line. All right, now I got my beautiful smart shot. Come in. How's it going, man? Doing good. Wait a minute. Is this An a extra Cheerio? buffer. This is all you get for a hundred days. You're wasting a Cheerio. All right, wow, it's it. really stale. <laughs> I'm shocked at how fast Sean is developing a routine. It is officially day 10. Sorry. Yeah, the only way that you could stay sane for 100 days is routine. Same with the subathon. Routine is actually the most valuable part and I think underrated part of people's lives. It's why I hated being a streamer at first. I hated being a streamer when I was full time. It fucking sucked. And I and I missed and it sounds so crazy to say working at Best Buy. I missed so much waking up to go to my shitty job at 10 a.m. that I was underpaid at and I had to drive an hour through traffic because when I was first streaming, I would literally wake up. I would stream until I was tired. I would go to bed. I'd be really hungry. I would eat whatever was in my house, which was a peanut butter sandwich. I would look at food videos. I would wake up. I would do the same thing. And, I, and, and there was nobody to tell me otherwise. So I just keep doing that until one day I was like, this is so bad for me. Copium. You also have to understand that when I first started streaming i was also making minimum wage well actually, i actually was making a little more than that i was making about like 12 dollars an hour sorry i'm just like the equivalent this. i just gave away a chocolate factory sean is nowhere i didn't have like a million of subscribers <laughs> sean are you pooping what, what? 
Okay, he didn't run away. Yeah. Bro, how you doing? Good, Give good. me a hug. All right. Yes. Wait, so you're tracking your weight. I'm weighing in every seven days. So you're trying to just be jacked by the end? Yeah, so I mean, at the end of it, I'll be ripped and $500,000 richer. Your wife's gonna love me. You seem to be doing really well. I'll see you in a month. A month? I think he's kidding, but he's probably not. I'm gonna try to build a garden today. If you think about it, Mr. Beast was doing the Willy Wonka video, he was doing this video, and he was doing the fasting video all at the same time. Try to replant it away from that crazy red line. One of the things I plan on doing, money is, to put my farm 100% on solar power. My farm will be like a giant Tesla. That's the dream. That's what we're trying to do at the homestead. Can't wait to get out and get my money. And Noble Pursuit, I'm making cross eyes, because like, what the fuck does you mean a giant Tesla? Is that just how you have to explain to Zoomers, like, renewable energy? Yes. <laughs> is that the only way to explain to Zoomers? I feel like, I'm, I'm sure, by the way, this guy is very smart, and that's just a line they threw in. And, like, probably a, a lot, a lot of talking. Imagine 100 days of recording. It's just so funny to be like, it's going to be a giant Tesla. <laughs> and then kids are like, oh, Right. <laughs> I'm going to go on a nice vacation for a while, I think. Tesla Whoa, energy. Jimmy just told me there's a tornado watch. Are you going to leave the circle for the severe weather? I'm like, I'm from Oklahoma. Whoa! There's no way that tarp is worth a half million dollars. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. My poor money's blowing away. <laughs> okay, I'm going inside. I have water peeing from the ceiling. My toilet won't flush because I'm guessing the tank out there is full of water from the rain leaking into it. You guys see that gentleman behind us? He's been in that circle for 16 days. That's longer than you went without eating, bald guy. You didn't have to bring up that video. Have you seen your second floor yet? No, I've been trying to get up there. It's a bit steep. Hey, Jimmy, you're bald. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay out of it. I feel like if I stay in here, they will bother each other and not me. Since the boys are being uh -huh. rude, I'm gonna leave them trapped. We want out! I will bring the ladder back if you just apologize. <laughs> I think we're ready to get out. I want an apology. I'm sorry you're bald. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you bald. Was it that hard? Yeah, it hurt. So the boys made quite the mess in my house yesterday. My yard is now covered in glass. Very frustrating. I'm worried this challenge might be getting to Sean. Would you come into my house and screw with stuff? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I think this smacked me in the nuts. They'd be trashing his home. I mean, think about it. If they didn't, then this would be a 100 day time lapse of this dude who seems fucking impenetrable. Just exercising, reading books, cooking his own food, and then showering, and then working on his farm. Which I wouldn't mind. That, that's the Discovery Channel version of this. How you doing, Chandler? Scared. I would be too. We installed that Ferris wheel in two hours. <laughs> Get me down. Johnny. To celebrate you being 25% done, we brought you a carnival so you can enjoy the day. This is awesome. <laughs> Nothing but that. Oh. Bruh. Oh, first throw. There oh. we go. Wait, this minigame isn't very fun. Am oh I crazy? Oh, but now. Oh, bruh. He, he wildly. Oh, first throw. All right. There oh. we go. This minigame isn't very fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrified of heights. You're 25 days in. Do you still think you're going to make it the 400? I can't see why not. This competition's a huge sacrifice. I only get so many summers with my kids, right, before they're gone and out of the house. True. So that's tough. So I was organizing all my clothes, and as I was going through it, I started finding little notes. Dude, so I forget I forget where this is shown, but I remember it was like a, it went viral for a bit, maybe last year. But when you hit 18 years old, you will have spent 92% of the time with your parents and then the rest of your life, you'll spend like another 8% of the time that you will total spend with them. If you move out. Kurz Gazette video? Yeah. The idea being like, when you're a kid, you live with your parents. You're with them every single day. All right? You know? Summers, you take vacation with them. And then when you move out, you like focus on your own stuff and you'll see them, you know, maybe holidays, once, twice, three, four times a year. Maybe if you're closer, you go over like every week for an hour dinner. But it's so much smaller in comparison to like every single day. And so most of the time is when you are a kid. From my daughter, my youngest, 
I have four kids and a wife, and this will be the most alone. I Don't sag. Just call your parents right now. I'll call my mom after this. Truce. We all call our moms today. Or dads, if you have them. Or if you have neither. Me and you, baby. What's up? Welcome. I've been in 18 years. Rationing food, survival, is gonna be rough. But if anything makes me walk out of here, it's gonna be the loneliness. I just don't wanna think about it. All I know is Gordon Ramsay, he ain't got nothing on me. Because I only gave him 300,000 calories of food, Sean really had to think about how he rationed it, which led to some pretty interesting choices. So this may be my first bad one. It's just a bunch of leftovers for oil for safety. It's disgusting! Very cabbagey. There's a camera above me. I'm not sleeping naked during their Sunday day challenge. Jimmy, just know I did that for you, just to spare you from my nakedness. This morning I heard, hey, Sean, there's a spider in your bed. My bed is now flipped over. I'm leaving the circle. This is my last day. You know you've been here a long time. Oh Man, my God. Living inside of a circle in a Mr. Beast video seems normal. Day 39, it's Father's Day. I kept waking up. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Father's Day. Thinking I was home, really missing my family. This is gonna be a tough day. And what Sean didn't know is that I brought his family to the circle to surprise him for Father's Day. Sean, I have a present for you. Oh yeah? Happy Daddy. Father's Day! Daddy. Almost makes me feel bad for trapping him in here. They didn't really consult with me, they just brought a present, and I'm not about to tell this little girl she can't give her dad a present, so I caved, and, and here you go. Oh, okay, I approve oh this Oh my gift. god. Not only okay. did they give you a gift, but they also get to spend the next 24 hours with you. No way! You guys are gonna be so bored. <laughs> <laughs> are those my drawings on the fridge? Yeah, those are your drawings what on the this? fridge. Nice, I didn't think you would keep these. Yeah. Oh, it's the wife! <laughs> it had nearly been a month since Sean saw his family, so I decided to give them some privacy until the next day. Uh, must be <laughs> Dude, kids are funny. Be nice to be able to walk I like just retching at a single kiss. Out of the red circle. <laughs> yeah. Really appreciate it, Jimmy. That was the best. It's a new day and Ryan is here, who traveled across America to give me this penny. Hey guys. John, I'm coming in. Come on in. Do you know what he's carrying? A penny. Do you uh, know why he's carrying this penny? My kids told me all about this. Oh, We're wait, really? It. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to give it to you for entertainment. Really? Here you go. Tomorrow's day number 50, and we have a big surprise for him, but don't tell him, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, later, okay. John. It is official. <laughs> Ryan didn't say a word. Oh, he's back. It's like day 50 of Sean surviving in the circle. And I invited some of my YouTube friends to celebrate this special moment. It's us, his YouTube friends. I need a break. Sean! Sean, what day is it? 50? Exactly. In front of you is $100,000 in cash. And if you get out right now, I'll let you keep it. No. That's such a bad value proposition. You should have offered him 250 k He did half the work for 100 k That makes no sense. That's such a terrible, terrible markdown. What? Why? A hundred grand? I could just chill here and get another 400. It's like All right, what if it was this. like 150 grand? Would it still be enough? I think like above 400, I would think You're about. crazy, 400 grand? <laughs> 400 is crazy. Okay, well, in case you did say yes, I invited a marching band. Bring in the marching band! 300K you just take immediately. That's way more valuable. I guess the correct amount should have been 200K. It should have been under what you get if you lost the full amount, but still a sizable portion that would tempt him to leave. But I think Jimmy wanted it to be small enough that he wouldn't do it. You want to know what the best part about this is? I paid them to be here all night. Good luck. <laughs> For the first 50 days, I wanted to see if Sean could make it. I've done this, right? I've done 50 days. For the last half of this challenge, we have some pretty crazy stuff planned. This is probably something you'll never see. Oh my god! Oh my god. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to end like this. July 4th, day 54, happy birthday, America. Are you guys ready? I feel like they're adding in elements to make us think that he might not make it or something to keep watching. They're lighting them. They're lighting them. They're lighting them. Go, go, go. <laughs> But I'm 27, and I just like this guy because he seems chill and old and cool, so I'll just keep watching regardless. Even though he very obviously makes it. Why are you it. not out right now? You gotta watch out for the circle. No, it's not! Hey! 
Bro, I just bought random fireworks. I didn't know they were that crazy. <laughs> I think I care much less than maybe Jimmy thinks, and maybe that's because I'm fucking old and children are the opposite, but I don't give a shit if he makes it to 100 because I think he just will. I care about how he does it. Journey. Journey. I care about the journey, I guess. To me, I guess it's about the journey and not the destination. Ceasefire! Ceasefire! I can't even see! Oh, oh. Is that a good show or what? Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, we should become firework experts. Yeah, yeah dude, nice I work. basically am. All right, Sean. More importantly, it is now July 5th, which means we need to leave. Yeah. No more fireworks. That's one day before my birthday. On July 5th. Okay, thank you. I'm a little terrified of what Jimmy comes up with next. Did you say you're terrified of what I'm going to come up with next? Yes. Do you want me to just leave you alone for a month? No, it'd be even worse. Okay, see you in a month. <laughs> oh, no. No. Shot. That's like almost all the days that are left. <laughs> Here's the aftermath. There's multiple times where I was way too close to the edge. You gotta watch out for the circle. So I'm thinking about digging a moat. And if Jimmy's really not coming back for 30 days, I should have an entire moat built by the time he gets back. Today I ate a can of mixed vegetables and a can of turkey. I didn't even heat it up. Food is going to be an issue. It's like this slime. is meat. Ew, that smells. That looks like dog food for sure. <laughs> and I've kind of tapped out the things to do inside the 60 foot circle. I dug a moat, made a garden, made a fire pit, which is too hot to use. Uh, made like a fence around the back and made a hammock. So I'm just here existing. I don't feel like doing really anything. So I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> Didn't Jimmy, by the way, five seconds ago say, the second half of this video is crazier than the first. And then he just disappeared for a month. <laughs> That is Sean's house, and I haven't been there in 30 days. Let's see if he's still alive. Just kidding, I check in on the cameras every single day. I know he's alive. Looks like he dug a moat around the circle. Let's see how he's doing. Hey, man. Hey. Did you miss me? Yes. Well, does it feel refreshing? It's like, I'm seriously shaking. You're that excited to yeah. see us? No, definitely. Wow. I, mean, I, I had no idea that not visiting Sean for 30 days would affect him this much. Oh. You do look much thinner. Did you lose weight? I'm 22 pounds down. Wow. We've done a lot since you last saw me. What did you do? And this is my storm window. And I sit here and watch the storm come in and listen to the lightning. Proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the fucking saddest thing I've ever heard. It's very beautiful in a way. But <laughs> he said, what did you do? And then we, <laughs> there's like. <laughs> I'm 22 pounds down. Wow. <laughs> We've done a lot since you last saw me. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? And this, this is, is my, my storm, storm window. window. And I sit here and watch the storm come in and listen to the light. This is my Friday. storm window, and I sit here and I <laughs> watch the storm to come in. Up. The <laughs> so last sad. days are gonna be crazy. What'd you say? Uh, don't worry about it. Honestly, I thought the 30-day challenge was kind of like my my hard challenge, but it sounds like he's not done with me, which is a little concerning. Sean, what's the best way to cut a cake in half? With a knife. True. Okay. What's the best way to cut a house in half? Oh, oh. shoot. Look. He keeps checking all the windows to see if we're going to cut the house down. Look at that. He's going to be so confused until I return tomorrow. So I Just lie down in the middle. All right. This has already been solved by Martin Freeman in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, or I guess the main character. Just lie down. They can't They can't hurt you. I was calling Jimmy's bluff on this, but then I just look outside. Arthur Dent, yeah. I need you to cut in half and get rid of that half. You're legit going to cut my house in half. I just learned how to drive this five minutes ago. God, I just want to tell you that it's only going to get harder. That's what I'm worried about. No. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't think this would actually work. Ah! Oh my god! You're good! Oh my god! Yes. In a couple of days, we may or may not just burn the house down. If I do anything, I'll let you know beforehand. Okay, yeah, thank you. That was uh -huh. a rough day. It's nine days to go at this point. I don't even care. I don't even want to talk about how long I've been here. Well played, Jimmy. Well played. I'm staying. So it's officially hotter in my room than it is outside at this point. Sean! I will give you a quarter of a million dollars if you get out right now. So bad. You know, it's hot. I want to give you a way out. You're 93% of the way through. There's no it's reason. So, it's like 100 degrees today. But I think I'd rather die than give up on this challenge at this point. Really? Yeah. Well, that was all. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. I give you guys full permission to go full idiot mode. Sure! Oh, there, there's nothing going on up there. Don't worry about it. Chandler must be here. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> 
I think I should go check on what they're doing. What? Over there? Yeah. These windows are kind of useless. Yeah, but nothing hurts you more than emotional damage. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That is funny to retag. Hey boys, see you tomorrow. I guess they're giving up. Here they come to get their fancy cameras. This is probably something you'll never see on the YouTube side. And now the circle is surrounded by speakers. The worst part is it stops every once in a while. It goes, it goes uh, and then it kicks right back on. Maybe I knock them all over flat. I could fill the speaker with water. If I never eat processed food again, I think I might be okay. Hot. Oh my God, hot. All right, do you all see that house over there? I want you to surround it in a circle and say nothing. Break. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> And next, we got this official FBI agent to work on his waterboarding tactics to see if we could convince Sean to leave the circle. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Isn't this torture? I mean, look, I think you can view it that way if you'd like to view it that way. I think the way it is presented in a YouTube video is with a lot higher stakes than it probably feels in the day-to-day -day aspect of it. And Sean, throughout the entire process, has seemed very aware of the YouTube side of it. And it's not like he's a random person who is not ready for this at all. Like when, when Chandler and Carl and Chris are fucking up their, his house, Sean's like, I wonder what they're doing back there. Looks like that window's not working. Like he... He's clearly playing along and, uh, along and fine with it. And like, although they show him doing two pillows to the ears, like a little bit of, of like, if you think about it for like five seconds, like I'm, I'm sure he's not doing that for 12 hours straight with the pillows to the ears. He's allowed to leave. I mean, that part I don't think is a good reason because if he left after 93 days with zero dollars because he felt psychologically tortured, then that way, you know, that's <laughs> that would be crazy. Then this video would never get released. But he, he can leave at any point, but it's like towards the end, it's he can't. Right. Like he said, I would rather die than leave the circle, which gives free reign to do any and everything to ruin his life and make him feel miserable. But like the what I think you guys are missing, and this is usually the justification for everything Jimmy does, whether you want to have a, a discussion of is it is it unethical, immoral, whatever, is that the the dude gets five hundred bands, and that is going to be life changing money for him and his family, and he's probably going to look back on it in ten years, not as this was psychological torture that ruined me, but like this was one of the best experiences of my life, and so it's like. How how can you be mad on behalf of him? Break. Should I be scared? What the? All right, attention clowns. Nod your head if you can hear me. Okay, I'll give you all a thousand dollars each if you stay all night. Wait, I'll give you two thousand if you don't. There's like a left. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Wait, I'll give you 2,000 if you don't. 11 of them? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, guess what? There's still clowns out there. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. A little extra security there. You have less than 24 hours left in this circle. So we're gonna destroy your house with a wrecking ball to make it harder. What? Chris! What? Tear what? down the house. All right. Oh God. And while Chris is destroying the house, I want to tell you guys about the sponsor of the video, Vimbo. Yeah! Vimbo is a quick and easy way for you to share money with all your friends. Tens of millions of people already use Vimbo to securely send and request money from their friends for things like concert tickets. I've had a Venmo sponsor before, kind of. Food and much more. And the best part of all this is Vimbo is free to install and all our viewers that use code MrBeast at sign up will get $20 if it's your first time using Vimbo. And this time we're going through. Just use this QR code or click the link in the description to install Venmo right now. And 
does it kind of feel like Venmo fell off? Because every time I ask anyone who's younger, like 18 to 25, to send them money, they always bring up Cash App. And I'm, I'm, I, 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 I had Cash App. I deleted Cash App. I've moved on from Cash App. Cash App is too crypto-y for me. Uh, everybody uses... Also, Zelle. A bunch of people use Zelle. Zelle is like that bitch. Yeah, it's Cash App and Zelle. It, like, it used to be Venmo, and then it was Cash App, and now I think it's Zelle. And I wonder if it goes back to Cash App or, or Venmo. And it doesn't stop there. If you send money on Venmo and put Beast in the Zelle's been a note, thing for years. I don't know where it came from. You'll be to win $10,000. Like, the popularity. Yeah, that part of your house is gone now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Not only did we bring a wrecking ball, but we also brought an excavator. Take the roof off! It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Good. Yeah. Demolition! You can scan this QR code or click in the description and download Venmo. Thank you so much for sponsoring the video. And that's it for the destruction. See you in 19 hours. All right. If you notice very sweetly, he was warned, of course, that they were destroying his house and he removed all of the drawings from his daughter. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna make a half million dollars tomorrow. Good night. Can you guys see the timer? There it is right there. Haven't seen them in a long time. Emotions are hitting me pretty heavy right now. Money's the thing we trade our life for. Giving up a third of a year of my life for a half million. Make sure you're trading your life for things that are worth it. How are you feeling? I'm so ready to get out of here. Yeah? Yeah. Do you mind staying in this room while I set up the surprise? I'm not leaving this room. I'm not risking getting out. Okay. It's got to be minutes now. I hear people outside. You can just hear it. Just that background noise of 100 people talking. Wait, something's Everybody, happening. Everybody, it's time. Give me a countdown from 10. 10. Nine. What? Eight, seven, eight, six, five, four, three, two, oh my gosh. Go on out. Oh my gosh. I think I've officially been 100 days. Step on the red line. Are you sure? It has been 100 days. Dude, how fucking funny would it be if it was 99 days and 23 hours and he did all of this to trick him into stepping on the red line? That would be so sick. It would be fucking terrible. But damn, would that be really sick. A fake countdown, fake ban. Oh, my God. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Here's your check for half a million oh, dollars. No. Everyone give it a round of applause. This has been an amazing 100 days. I am glad it's over, though. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know what to say. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, we can get you in a video. Goodbye. Shine you like a limousine. A lot of people say that me and Chandler can't do things, but we did that. We Dengue. did it. <laughs> we did it. Uh, good video. I thought that was good. I, th I think that's one of the better Mr. V's videos in the past, like, 10. No outro, though. Kind of crazy if you think about it. Looking at his last 10. Yeah, this is his best video in a while. Maybe since Squid Game, straight up. Good ass vid. Uh, there's also another video we had to watch. From I Did a Thing. Strange. Wait, can you please stop? How you go? Because he made a video called I Made Your Worst Ideas, and he tweeted at me. And he said that he made my idea. So I kind of want to watch the video. The plane crash video sucked. I like the plane crash video. I don't think the plane crash video is the best video he's uploaded. But I think the plane crash video, from my point of view, was better than... I honestly preferred it over uh, I didn't eat food. I it, Maybe it's a hot take. I liked it more than Willy Wonka. I think Willy Wonka I liked because the set, but I didn't like maybe the content of it as much. Maybe I'm biased. 
call your mom after right now i don't want to call her on stream i'd rather call her off stream it's weirder talking to my mom on stream it's much less how i would talk to her off stream i'm gonna to wait to talk to her off after stream is that fair i i said i meant after stream i'm not gonna call her right now because right now you guys i I'm not going to mute and talk to her. I'll, I'll be gone for like 10 minutes. I'll just call her after the stream. I'll just shoot her a text right now. And it says, hey, can you chat? Because I'm going to end in like an hour and a half anyway. I'm ending soon. All right. Bang. Send her a text. Oh, poor guy. You guys keep sending me video suggestions. And they're all right but your method of delivery is very strange. Wait, can you please stop throwing dead birds at my house? It wasn't me. What do you mean? You got a bird? Ow. So today, I'm gonna to make five of your video ideas in the hope that you'll leave me alone. For free? For free? Okay, the first suggestion comes from Coping Molding Truth 43 on Twitter, who wants me to make a pressure washer bidet, which sounds idea. hilarious and will finally allow me to properly clean my ass. So, I'm going to start with a cheap bidet and a cheap pressure washer. And I'm hoping I can just plug this straight into my ass and it will work. But after turning on the pressure washer and seeing how strong it is, I'm not sticking. I decided against that and wanted to see if I could plug the pressure washer directly into the bidet. Not bad. And it didn't destroy the bidet like I thought it would. The bidet just didn't let the high pressure water through, which is actually a good thing because otherwise I would have made a hole in my foot. So I'm going to have to upgrade all these crappy plastic parts to high pressure hose. And I've never actually used a bidet before, but I've heard from others that have that they work really well and feel a bit like your own personal slave that spits water on your ass. They don't know. <laughs> it's such a terrible phrase. But okay, whoa. I wouldn't phrase it like that. I'm a big bidet guy. I saw a yep in chat. That's not how I would phrase it. I, I, I've, I've never said that. I've never said that. I have never once said it feels like a slave spitting water up your ass. I've never said that. Of course I haven't. I've said that? Have I said that? Have I said that? Here's the problem. I could believe that I've said that. I could believe that. You just did. Uh, no, okay. No, no, you're gaslighting me. You're gaslighting me. I've, not, I've never said this. I've never said this. I think of a day feels amazing doesn't feel like a <laughs> slave spitting water up your ass which i don't think would feel good by the way okay if you're gonna spit on doesn't feel great i don't think when tyler won after going on a two-minute tirade on how i'm the shittiest league of legends player known to man when he went <laughs> was trying to make me feel good it's not good not a good thing but days are mir m m m miracles Miracle products. It kind of feels like you found home, right? Feels like you're being tickled by a cherub. So I'm very excited to try one. And after taking apart the bidet and having a proper look inside, I think I'm just gonna have to replace everything as it's all low quality plastic. And the original bidet has two nozzles, one for normal people and the other for women. So I'm only going to make a one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's so wildly progressive. <laughs> but damn, I was out of pocket. <laughs> hold nozzle and I'm going to do that by just welding a pipe to this high pressure hose fitting which will have this little plunger inside that will move out as the water pushes it and will then squirt water out of this little hole and after giving it a quick test it worked really well at Not low bad. pressure with no water coming out of the gaps so I turned on the pressure washer to see if it would explode okay power washer on three two 
It and explodes. I've now realized I've made a big mistake. I purchased the wrong fitting and the hose is never going to properly attach. So instead of doing the right thing and just buying a new one, I tested my luck by attempting to weld the high pressure plastic hose directly to the fitting. This is such a dumb idea. You can weld plastic? Which actually seemed to work as I was constantly keeping the metal cool. So I tested it again. And that actually worked really well. So I installed it into the bidet and sprayed the whole thing white. And I'm not gonna install this on an inside toilet as I've already made enough holes in the ceiling. So I test fitted it on this chair outside and it actually feels as nice and comfortable as a normal toilet, which means it was time to use the bidet. And I'm gonna test it first on this pig belly, which I've heard makes a really accurate ass substitute. Three, two. <laughs> why? <laughs> Alex, why are you naked then? If you're gonna test it on the pig, but you didn't have to run naked to the fridge. You could have just, your pants are back on now. Oh, it's such a bad idea. Oh, that's not bad. And that worked amazingly. The bidet managed to clean all the way through the pig belly, removing the fat and meat. This is disgusting. There is, there is meat everywhere. But it still didn't cut it cleanly in half like I was hoping. So I'm going to give the bidet an easier challenge, this apple. And this would definitely clean my insides. Eight out of 10. Okay, the second suggestion comes from Ryan, or as I like to call him, Ryan. And he suggests replacing the blades on a ceiling fan with knives. And I've already replaced all my kitchen knife blades with ceiling fans, uh. which works great. But I've never thought of doing it the other way around. So I'm excited. You gotta wonder how long he took making those for the 10 second gag. And the first thing I need to get is a ceiling and then a fan. My mom texted me back. <laughs> Dude, I texted my mom, hey, what are you doing today? Because I wanted to set up a call. And she said in French, did you write this? And then followed up in English and said, or have you been hacked? Hello. Salut, maman. Oui, c'est moi. Je suis euh, sur le stream maintenant. Okay. I just wanted to see what you're doing so I could call you after stream. Just to know if you're doing something busy today. Okay, nothing. All right. Um, uh, ciao. Ciao, bisous. Bisous. All right. My mom doesn't like talking on stream. Ever since I asked her to say out loud that my grandparents are cousins, she's been a little skeevish on it, which I don't blame her. All right, you guys can be kind of weird. You know, and this one was a nice cheap one, but it means I need to put it together. So I opened up the box and then got the instructions and put them in the bin and then followed them from there. And after connecting the blue wire to the blue oh. wire, the green wire to the green wire and the brown to the brown, it didn't work. So I skipped using this speed controller and just borrowed a power cable and then connected it directly to the fan, which means the fan only has one speed on. And now that I have a fan that spins, it's machete time. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! <laughs> uh -huh. So I pulled off the plastic handles. Kind of valid. Then welded a dodgy brace to the machete before attaching them to the fan. And this is already terrifying. Oh. 
but not as terrifying as my inability to count how many blades a fan actually has. And I now have an extra machete. If anyone wants it, it's in this bush right here. Oh, okay. Okay, now time to strap this to my ceiling. I feel like that could be dangerous for a drop bear. <laughs> I'll say he's got good ones. He's got he's got he he's he got he got ha ha's. His bits are so good, but even if he didn't have them, the video would be insane too. You know what I mean? I'm staring at the center circle that's forming because there's not as many machete. It's so fast. I don't like it. This is terrifying. It's so silent in the air, almost like the blades are so sharp that they are just cutting right through it. Let's chuck some stuff into it. <laughs> And to do that, I made this little safety fortress. I wasn't really happy with the angle I had to throw the fruit at, so I repositioned my fortress right under the fan. Five, four, three, two. Oh, nice double spin. And that was fun to watch while editing, but not fun while I was there. I was imagining my welds snapping and the blade flying out and shooting through my barricade at any moment. It 100% would. It would go straight through your quarter inch plywood in your foam mattress. It would go straight through. Right? Like at that speed? I mean, I guess it depends how sharp the blades are. Maybe the blades are slightly dull. I can imagine machetes come unsharpened. I mean, slightly unsharpened. There's sheet metal in there too. Maybe not. But besides that, it did a great job of cutting fruit. Nine out of ten. Good idea. All right, the third idea comes from <laughs> Swagger Souls. <laughs> That's a great idea. A hot dog with a mustard gas. On Twitter, who wants me to make mustard gas and then put it on a hot dog. And the first thing I'm going to need is some pool chlorine. Sorry, I meant the third idea is a sponsorship for PayPal Honey. Honey is the number one shopping What's PayPal tool honey? in America. But I like to think of it as being similar to my mother, who's always looking out. Did PayPal buy Honey? What was the acquisition? Is that public? PayPal Honey. I wonder how much... Because Honey is a pretty valuable browser extension. Wow! This is a while ago. I can't believe I didn't know about this. This is like fucking... I guess they just changed the name recently, but they bought them three years ago. Four billion dollars. Four billion. Holy shit. Wow. That's insane. Honey's probably one of the most, or one of the more at least, successful browser extensions ever. Wildly successful browser extension. Do they even have like a a, a mobile option for Honey? Is there, is there was there an app for Honey? I guess maybe there was. Just probably much less popular. They have one now. There is an app. Anyway, guys, download Truffle. <laughs> download Truffle. And to any PayPal execs watching, yo, what up? <laughs> um, how you doing? <laughs> 
looking out for me and always trying to find me great deals on the things I'm buying. Once you install Honey, it sits on your computer and then when you go to buy something, if Honey works on that site, it swoops in and automatically searches for coupon codes so you don't have to. You could be buying a tent, an office chair, or this man's legs. Doesn't matter what you're buying as Honey works on many of the sites you are already using. For example, I was purchasing these four machetes for this video and Honey found a coupon to save me $10. Who doesn't love the feeling of randomly being surprised with a discount when you're purchasing machetes? So go now and add it to your browser for free at joinhoney.com slash I did a thing. That's joinhoney.com slash I did a thing. Make it mobile compatible. We actually have talked about that recently. It's kind of hard to do, but we're certainly thinking about it. You know what I mean? Certainly thinking about it. Honestly, something that I want to try to do with Truffle we? Well, yeah, I'm not the dev. I'm just the guy who comes into the meetings and I go, hey, I'm the streamer here and this is what I want, smiley face. And then they're like, we can do that or we can't do that. What is Truffle? Truffle is the extension that I made that is was originally created to make YouTube live streaming experience better. But now we're trying to expand beyond that and just make streaming experiences better. No matter where you're at. I made, I made meaning I came up with the idea with it, uh, the idea of it, and then I had people make it. But then I, because I owned the means of production, am profiting off the fruits of their labor. And by profiting, I mean it's only been a money sink so far. But boy, is it a good one, because it does make it a lot better. <laughs> All right, this comes from Zoe Possum, who wants me to get a jackhammer and put a rubber pad on the bottom and footholds on the side, creating the world's most terrifying pogo stick. And I already know this is going to scramble my brain, but I can't resist making it. And I'm also killing two birds with one stone, as Ludwig requested I also make a device that can finally help the short fellow jump high enough to dunk, which seems impossible, but I'll give it a shot. It's not fucking impossible. It's not that far. I'm pretty close. I'm pretty fucking close, okay? So the first thing I did was go to the local store and bought these bolt cutters. Then I waited till night. Ah, 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 ah! This is me. I'm in the recommended. It's me. It's actually Beesh. Wow, it's actually deep cut. It's Beesh new making the remix of mine and Porter's song. Maybe he's a big Bishnu fan. And went down to the closest construction site. There's no end, it's Bishu. Bishnu's a fire name though, can we admit it? It might not be his name, but damn, is that a good name. I'll watch the Sidemen highlights after this. And then borrowed this. And I didn't really have a choice of jackhammer, so I grabbed this one, which is very noisy. Jesus. But luckily, I can just put on ear protection. Oh, nice. Smart. Now, at the moment, it has this sharp chisel at the bottom, which would be similar to jumping in stilettos. Sexy, but not efficient. <laughs> so, I'm going to make a giant metal foot to increase the surface area. And for reference, I took a photo of for my foot. Free? For free? For free? That is a very nice foot. Thank you. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then cut out this. And then welded some extra support metal on top so it's strong enough to handle the jackhammer. Then I welded a piece of pipe on the foot so the jackhammer can slip neatly into its new shoe. And the foot is done. But now I just need somewhere to put my feet. And I don't want to permanently attach anything or weld to the jackhammer, as I actually plan to give this back to the construction site once I'm done. So I got a piece of wood and made a hole in it and then put a clamp underneath and a heap of duct tape and kept wrapping it around until I created this horrible mess. Oh my God. This is not good. It's definitely not gonna work. And I fixed it. Aren't you, the whole point of a jackhammer is not for one giant push off the ground. 
it's for many, many, many repeated pushes at high power. So, like, you're not, you wouldn't get that high, right? And that's done. So now I just need to turn this terrifying thing on. Barely any movement. You get less air than jumping by yourself. broke all of my welds and I could re-weld it but there was absolutely no jumping happening and all it did was really hurt my wrists and ankles <laughs> he just he just turned a jackhammer from effective to ineffective that's it it just turned a jackhammer from the ability to destroy ground to a, a jackhammer that couldn't even destroy plywood and it does nothing else outside of vibrate your arms which didn't even look funny on camera. I don't even think you can call this a tamper. Maybe, but I, I don't, th the, 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 the tamp ability of this. Zero out of 10. What was, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And by the way, amazing video. He's done amazing so far. Love Alex, great guy. This is not a two birds, one stone. I wanted him to make shoes to help dunk like in the movie Flubber where he jumps really high and he goes boing. All right, it's a lot different. Okay, I'm a big ideas guy here. Everybody says I'm a big ideas guy. <laughs> I like how Max's message resurrect Robin Williams in real life was a suggestion for a thing he would make, but not only a suggestion, he re he made his suggestion a reply to me. Like I was, I'm the guy that he used to suggest... Why my why my what did, I didn't even oh actually know what he's in the movie Flubber that's why Robin Williams is in the movie Flubber that makes sense Okay the final suggestion comes from Hey Jack who wants me to make solar panel glasses and his intention here is to blind me by making me stare into the sun which I'm willing to do, as everyone knows there's nothing more entertaining than a blind person. Now, I could put half-transparent solar panels directly over the lens of the sunglasses, which would look more aesthetic, but would be hard to do. So instead, I'm just going to 3D print some sunglasses with mounts on top, and then use these tiny solar panels, which I just took from the roof of this tiny house, which I'll mount on top. And I figure this will actually look pretty acceptable as sunglasses, as if people are willing to wear these, which make you look like a pedophile. I'm talking to you, Andrew. These don't look bad in comparison. Who's that guy? And you know how I just said I'm going to 3D print these glasses? I forgot that I broke my 3D printer by shooting it a couple of videos ago. So instead I used my 2D printer and just printed these out. Then I cut down this piece of PVC pipe and straightened it with a heat gun. Hold up, hold up, real quick. Okay, and I'll actually do it after. And then heated it again so I could mold it perfectly to the shape of the sunglasses. Then I got the tiniest drill bit I'm legally allowed to own and made a hole. And then watched this video on YouTube to see where I threw away those small screws at the beginning of the video. and stuck it all together. He's so authentically and Australian. And it's done. So now let's say I'm standing in the sun and I'm feeling a little too hot. Idiots would just move to the shade, but all I need to do is attach my little fan to the sunnies and then stare directly into the sun until the fan starts moving, cooling me down. Without 
It's also great for charging your phone. All I had to do was swap over to this charging port and then stare into the sun for two hours to get 1% charge extra on my bad. phone. That's not bad, because that's free energy too. Okay, ready? So I'm looking down, no charge. What hap watch what happens when I look up. Is it doing anything? Yeah, okay, it's making the thing now. And the thing about it that people don't okay. recognize is it maybe, hey, maybe you're not gaining a lot of uh, battery, but you're not losing any too. We call that passive income where I'm from. It's just torture. Just passive. It's, it's kind of like a Tesla phone. Yeah, a little bit. He kind of made a Tesla phone in a way. It's kind of smart. Six out of 10, which means Ryan is the winner with the ceiling machete fan. Ryan, please send me your full name, address, and credit card Don't details, do including the CVV, to receive your prize. Don't do any of that. Don't even send me your Thank address. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I would 100% subscribe again if I could. This guy can't be older than 30, yet I expect he has already exceeded his own life expectancy. He's like 30, 30 something. Does look great though. He's looking fierce these days. When in the jackhammer part, look I looked at his arms the whole time. Look at that. Look at look at his right arm. Look at the look at the vascularity. Look at the tricep definition on this man. Straight. Alright, let's take a look at Moist Critical. Everyone said to watch his video. This week's been pretty doom and gloom with a lot of awful shit coming to light all across the internet. It's been more drama filled than an episode of Degrassi. Why are people saying this has no sound? But today I wanted to hit you with a bit of a plot twist and jump scare you with some good. It looks like it was fixed. I thought there was no sound on it, but it looks like there is sound and it's a, an elaborate troll or it was broken. Sidemen charity match highlights. Highlights. Are there, are there, is there like an official highlight thing? That's not just I show speed, I show speed, I show speed. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Literally the first one. The thumbnail was so bad that I glazed over it. Genuinely. The thumbnail was actually so mid that I didn't even look at it. I'm a... Uh... Oh, so throw in for the YouTube All Stars though. Castro takes it quickly. Oh shit! Remember, he scored his goal. I think in the first two minutes. Yeah. That, oh! oh wow. <laughs> Remember, he scored his goal. I think in the first two minutes. Yeah. That <laughs> Dude. Dude, speed came running. Look when he made the decision. I'm gonna move my cam. I'm gonna move my cam. Look when he made the decision to start going for uh, KSI. Look how far out. Look how far out, right here. That's like a good fucking 30 feet. 50 feet. His goal, I think in the first and two he minutes. sprinted. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is, we are underway. This is not going to be a nice game. Oh, KSI is on the He's floor. enigmatic. Speed is celebrating. First blood has gone to speed. I, I've got to respect it. If there's one man you don't want to do that to, it's KSI. He loves a bit of revenge. You'd think his mind would be elsewhere, but he is focused on this game and he's playing fantastically so far. Big interception there oh, from Mr. Anderson Beast. Gibb. Chunks to Nico here. Oh, oh shit. Them. Harry with his legs open. Focus, Harold. The true. Oh! Mayor of that was actually a good tackle, to be fair to speed. He's got the ball there. I think he got a bit of his ankle. Chunks is going to hit one here, Stephen. He's hit one. Five face. Oh! Chunks. Wait, Chunks is amazing. I, I I saw him touch the ball twice, and I was like, this guy's going to choke it for his team. But what an amazing strike. It's a speed. He's got the ball there. I think he got a bit of his angle. Dude, that's from like 40 yards out. That is a very deep strike. Very deep. It's probably more than... Fr what, what is... Chunks is going to hit one here, Steve. That's fucking deep as hell. He's hit one. Five base. And look how high. That's top left. Oh! 
It's more like 30 yards. Okay. <laughs> We're really going to nitpick 10 yards. Chunks! That is a strike of the highest caliber. Chunks. And look at Mark Aldridge. He's delighted with that one. You give him time like that, and he will do it. One of the best football matches I've ever seen in my life so far. I'll tell you what, it is end to end. We have got a situation here. That's just why you're hearing the booze. The Mark Kattenberg's not seen it, though. We're still oh. going here for the oh. oh, 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 good, good, good pass, good pass. Excellent finish. It's 2-0 to the All-Stars. Excellent the finish. He celebrated with the guy in the GoPro. Was that set up? Yes, there is a, a Wally who's run on the pitch. We don't condone that sort of behaviour. We're going to try not to show him Why is nobody taking him off? The, th the situation was Mark Clattenburg hadn't seen him because he was behind. You can see him just entering the screen now. Let's comes. talk about the finish. Let's talk about the left-footed dink of the finish. That was a great Alana. finish. I'll, I'll be honest. I, remorsefully, I laughed in his face. when. Uh, <laughs> Why is the goalie an extra from Peaky Blinders? What's going on here? When he said he was up front. The Chris MD turns. Ooh. Simon, can you get it to Vic? He's Go through. Take the touch and hit it. This goal has got to be better, right? Are are the goalies YouTubers? It might be better, actually. It might be better if the goalies are YouTubers and not like, I guess everyone has to be a YouTuber to some extent. But goalie's such a specific skill in soccer that like most people don't practice being a goalie unless you're just a goalie, right? It's like such a skill role. But it's kind of better in that way because then it's going to be a lot of goals in a soccer match, which is way more exciting than like going 2-2. Oh but this one is, this one's abhorrent. Missing this is abhorrent. Like this freeze frame right here, you're like, he got it. I, how, how did this happen? I, I think it went in between both hands because there's a hand underneath right here and there's a hand over. Football, corner. football in it. Big star. Football One, in it. Two, three. Right here You're in Australia, we in call box, it football, but you all, you lot in the sides call it soccer. We could not have started better than this, guys. We are being gifted an absolute classic before our very eyes. Big star. One, two, three. That's not easy, Stephen. Not he at takes all. A, he takes a touch. Finishing it bottom left. Gibb was closing him down. He Look says, "Give, you're on the floor again. Forget it. I'm scoring." Ozzy's called soccer? Oh, never mind. Here. That is a goal. The only man with three numbers. Wait, I want to see the other angle. The concentration on this man's face here. You know what? Actually, not nearly as bad from this angle. That is a goal. The only man with three numbers on his back could score. Absolutely. It, I mean, it's sensational. Bit of footy it's with the, the lads. The MD stands for <laughs> midfield deficiency or something I like love that. the king. Making your own jokes. Dispossessed by Manny. Can he get there? Can he keep it? Oh, on? Will, you've had a howler. He's been done for pace. Manny is free against Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The pace. pace. He's put too much oh. on it. Gonna come to nice. What's the play? Toby Great touch. Oh, the one two. Oh, two, two. That was excellent. Near post strike. Wait, that was like an excellent play. Gorgeous play from him inside. Every part of that was Fantastic so clean. Football, you got to say, you know what you saw there was the understanding, the chemistry that was a, between the brothers. That was real Manny footy. Tobin, Simon in the middle is practically a brother. Finally, absolutely. Fantastic stuff. And what a Finally, finish. some I'll real footy. Like Vic, Vic no. went to the right. I tell you what, you're spot on about speed going off. Yeah, they have lost something. Look, look at the amount of subs stood by Goldbridge. He needs, he needs Nico back. That that touch oh, right there. Toby actually was, was godlike, really and the finish was that, insane. Theo's gone back into defence. About time to. Yeah, so from 2 0 up, too much. it's now 2 all. Let's take a look at this replay. Tobe Jizzle. But that, dude, yeah, that. Lovely little one two of Simon. And that he, was I think excellent. He, I think he just did Cal the Dragon's footwork there. He thought he was going to go to the other side, and Cal's disappointed with that one. The uh, the goals come down Gibbs' side, but that was not his fault at all. Oh, shit. Oh, Millennium. Chunks. God damn. Yeah, chunks has a fucking yeah. great touch. Danny Aaron's going to take it. Puts his hand in the air. Have they been training? Does anyone know what that means? It's, it's not bad. Bit of a clearance, that Danny. Philly on the edge of the box. He's looking to create space. No oh, way. Past no way. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Where have these boys got this from? Because I tell you what, there is some unbelievable strikes. Look at Pie Face's face, it says it all. Philly, that was What a fucking great shot! Near post again, but you wouldn't have expected it. He caught us up. What a great shot! Th that's such an amazing... God, face. About that's 70 yards out right there, I think. 70 yards out. So far for me. The angle, the quality of the strike. I can't wait to see it back. He's took on Calix there. Calix will be kicking himself. He didn't put a challenge in. Let's have another look at it here. Look. Backs himself up against Calix. Gets the space. And look at this strike. So... God damn. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. What a fucking amazing shot. Sweet. Wow. Unsavable. Absent. That is... A that's a professional finish there. I can't believe, like... He scored at Soccer Aid. 99% of you... No, 90... Not even. 99.999% of YouTubers who take that shot, myself included, either go way over or it just totally off the mark. He's it on the big stage. KSI is going to take a breather here. It's in a triple substitution, but let's look at that goal one more time. Philly, take a bow. That is so Maybe 300 yards away. Josh down the line. Good ball here. Simon seems to be occupying the right side a bit more now. Randolph is... Mini Minta. As well. yep, laser beams on. In the Devilish lad. Mullet. Cross Minta. it in. No way anyone's got headers. Randolph wants it. Oh, it? Wow. No one yes. saw that coming. Certainly not Cal the Dragon. Reminded me of the goal Mykon scored for Brazil. Running down the right side. No one saw it. It's in the back of the net and he stays the top goal scorer inside men charity match history. That's his seventh in four games. Simon Minta. He's just... He's just told Keller Dragon, stay on your line. I mean, hey, great vision. Great vision because, like, th that's just a standard you're supposed to cross the ball in. Someone gets a header, someone gets a foot on it, maybe they score. And he just saw. Goalie was out of out of position. Don't get cocky with me, sir. A, a fantastic strike. And a great, out of po you're a out of position. Brain, Simon did he definitely mean it? Let's take a look at it back. I'm sure he did. He's oh. definitely in his locker. He gets it out wide. He takes a look up. He definitely meant that. That was a. That was a that was I a love this shot, too. I love the Usain He's Bolt so mid well shot. Gets it back. Lovely little one two with Manny. He goes, it's What? It's the prediction Bang. Said. Look at that. Did he get a deflection actually? Did he get a little nick? Honestly. I don't know. You guys in the chat will know. Hey, also kind of nuts. His his eyes were looking for a cross the whole time. Nick was playing. Fool the cameraman. There from Noah Beck. Has he got options? He's got uh, Danny oh, Aaron's oh, down on the left. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, turning around. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. That's embarrassing that's to let that go. You can cannot do. let that go. Do not let him shoot. He'll hurt you. Four, three. It was not a... I don't even think that was a good shot. The, it's Will and eight. That's bad. That's bad. Four, three. That's bad. What a strike. You have to say, just shifts it onto that right foot. Gets in a shooting position. I mean, great play. Look at it here. Pass that, to, to get through the, the, the get defender, there. great. They've question marks on part face for that one? I think yeah, so, unfortunately. 100% yeah, question marks. Down quicker. I mean, they've, they've let too many shots in on them. I mean, yeah, great to get by yeah. two defenders oh. there. But this it just should never go in. That should never. I mean, it's in between two. You just got to get to the floor quicker. Uh, yeah, Pi won't be happy with that. Theo taking over. He's had a lot of the ball, hasn't he, Theo? Oh, and he's oh, thinking with a heavy touch. Too much. That's Chris clean. MD. Plays on to be fair oh. to him. God whistling that down. Whistling that down's a bit coward. Cowardly. Hello. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a ball that is from Simon. It's got to, to be. It's got to be Toby. He's on side. Toby, Toby to crushes this. Oh, He's got yeah. the score. Yes. Will and he did his best to intercept it, but Toby said no, and he gets his second of the game, and it's oh, all square Jesus. for a piece. Fantastic. Absolutely. Just well played. Composure there. Goes past two slots. And also, I mean, hey, credit to, to, to Mini Minter over there. How quickly he took that free kick. Uh, that was smart. He was on his a toes. Word to Mini Minter's pass there, though. What, a, what vision oh, from Simon. It was, it was amazing. But, but credit to Tobe Chisholm. You learn in high school soccer that you're supposed to high school footy, <laughs> right? In a little high school footy. When you play with the lads that you're supposed to start tying your shoe in front of where they kick a free kick so that your defense can get ready. If everybody's pushed up. Just start tying your shoe like an asshole in front of the soccer ball. F the foot a full. In third year, right? So you're in third year with your fucking lads playing a bit of footy with a couple of Nazis down the straight. What are you going to do? They're hitting a free kick. Tie your fucking kicks. 
He skipped past Willany like a. It's a Hassan stream there. now. This has become it's, a Hassan it's that stream. Mini Minter and Tobe Jizzle combination. Absolutely no need to wait for Toby there. He goes past Cow the Dragon, and at that point, it's just an easy tap in. But oh, he'd worked so hard to get there. Easy. Nice little layoff there from Nico de Castro. Gives it to. Th My only understanding of British vocabulary comes from um, in betweeners. <laughs> That's racist. Isn't Nance a pedophile? Theo. Theo's got over Philly the to his wing, left. Surely. Castro, Castro can hit this first, first time. time. He does. Oh, and he scores. Wow, says. And Castro scores for the second time in a Sidemen charity game. He's got a goal in every game he's played. He's taken off his shirt here. I'm not sure what the vest says. We're we'll seeing the back of it. But it's a well taken finish from Castro. I mean, he's. Is it he's not a good word to say? I wouldn't be showing that off. I don't know what the message is, though, so... Uh, I'm sure there's something on there, otherwise it's just a very odd move. <laughs> Maybe he's just... He, he just looks good in a vest, Spencer. Look at this link-up from the guys in red here. It was Nico to Castro to Theo. Theo returns it to the Castro. The one-twos have been crushing. Oh, Castro get on his left foot. Great shot from Castro. Finish. Castro's mom beat cancer. Yeah, I saw that. Done about that one. It's a controlled, finessed finish from the FIFA streamer, Castro. Look and at that. Theo Baker's I've watched a good chunk of Castro streams every time he plays. I mean, I mean, he plays a lot, but when he plays FIFA. That's to go off. I think the sidemen have requested that. 5-4. What a game we had on our hands here. But right now, he's in line four. A gold. He's leading this All-Stars game. Oh, it's oh that's offside. Speed! Oh, it's not going to count. It's not going to count. Does he, he know it? you got to call that back, right? I think he knows. He doesn't know. Oh, oh wow! This is kind. Someone's got to tell him. No one Someone's should tell him. tell him. No one should tell him. Get him, get the camera back on speed because he doesn't know he hasn't scored yet. This he is. He doesn't know, and I can't wait to see his face when he finds out. Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> He's taking his shirt off. The ref is in trouble. Clamberg, <laughs> get protection on Clamberg ASAP. Seriously, we need to protect Mark. He's a national treasure. Chris MD is playing bodyguard right now. Chunks is pointing to the linesman's flag. <laughs> Speed, I hate to break it to you, mate. You probably could have scored that if you just held back a little bit. It was, it's a very good finish. Yeah, it's a great finish, to be fair. If you have speed, you don't need to be offside, mate. Come on, common sense. After the game, this assistant referee... Speed is fake and cringe. I think speed is enigmatic and fun to watch. ...needs to run, because speed is coming from him. He's, he's getting yellowed by his own teammate here. Chunks Yellow showing him a card. What's speed going to do with this? I think he's going to book the ref here. Clattenburg's running away. It's an absolute pantomime of a game. He whips his bum. I think his line of where I think things are taken too far is a little further than where my line is. And then there's things that he does that I, I'm not as hype on watching. But I think most of the time, like, he, like that's fucking sick. This whole thing I'm was funny as hell. It's just great. There's no way I'd get away with whipping a referee. Whipped his bum. That's All great. Time. And what a touch that is to Chris MD. These two oh, just playing between good. themselves at the minute. Take your time, surely. Simon looks for Chris. He could go all the way through. Chandler, well done. Clear it. Well clear it. Let's get a good clear in. Chandler Ping, we call him, the way he cleared that. <laughs> George, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, George? Were you going to go the distance there? Not found was his, was his footy skill. Come on, Gogi. Brilliant tackle from Simon. Give it to Randall. Oh, good touch right. He's hit <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, I mean, you can't blame George for how the goal went in, but obviously a lot, a lot to be... A lot a lot is missed on defense. Oh, Kyle the Dragon has been so good for the last five minutes, but he will not want to watch that one back, folks. He's, he's tried to kick it away, Stephen, and, it, and he's missed it. Worth mentioning that, and this is a, a new thing they added to soccer, is that the goalies can use their hands, which I think is like a cool part he, of it. But he's had two <laughs> great saves. You know, if you save two and concede one, it's not too bad. It's better than me. <laughs> that's <laughs> terrible. Save two, concede one is a bad. That's bad. You can't be saving two, conceding one. But hey, the thing that makes this all better is that the other keeper is just as bad. Competition now, top goal scorer. Wow. It's equal. He's, he's on for a hat trick. He has had two hat tricks before in this in this uh, charity. Match. I can see him getting a hat trick. He's, he's been very good today. And he made that with his tackle. Hey, the this number makes a lot of sense. 4-4, four, four, error, uh, skill not found. Him getting a hat trick. <laughs>
He's, he's been very good today. And he made that with his tackle here. It's a great tackle. Beats his man, hits the shot. Yeah, we're not going to say too much about that one, Cal, because you've been really good for the last few minutes, mate. Absolutely. George not found was found lacking there, unfortunately. He sent Chris Tyson the wrong way and finishes. To be fair, also, I think, it, from what I've seen, Mini Minter is top three in the pitch right now. Boys right top now three. Big Give it to Vic. Give it to Vic. It's absolutely open. What a switch that is to Chris MD. That's Gets the touch. Look at the touch. Get it to Randolph. No, you got to use your hands. You've just got Stop to sliding the legs Chris first. Gets his goal for the I'm sick of today. it. The side men are in the lead, 6-5. I tell you what, if that doesn't put a bolt up, Noah Beck's... Top one? He might be the best. I'm, wa I'm saving judgment. His goal, that is his third. Great in touch. The tournament Just, you play. got it. The Get your body in front of it. This is the first time they have taken the lead. 6-5. Six Six five. Five. I don't think really I'd do better, by the way. Left to right. Let me be clear. One of the great positions to be in is watching the match on hindsight and saying how everything they're doing is bad. Probably me and 28,000 of us would do worse. First chance shots. We can admit it. But we didn't do it, so fuck him. Hey, we didn't do it. Cuts in from the right. Still going. JJ wins the tackle, though. It's good work from KSI. He's going to get a free kick, I think, no? Speed stands over him like a WWE star. Chunks with a long range. No. He scored up there. You got to take it. You got it. Hey, mark that as an assist. If they did not mark speed for an assist, that's bullshit. Nico Amalana, the poacher. He sneaks in. He's done it before, Spence. And he scores. His second goal of the game. Who would have guessed that at the start of the match? Running over to the cameras here. The camera's not Nico on, you guys. Loving life. Chunks, once again, instrumental in that goal. The cameraman <laughs> doing hand signs. The fact that speed is just standing over JJ at the time is hilarious. <laughs> You can't, you can't spill them to Nico. He's a fox in the box. Absolutely. Assist to the assists. No, this, look, this distracted all the defenders. So wow. boxy. What <laughs> it's a like game. a basketball thing to do. Is this seven all? It's six all. Chunks, Chunks with a touch. Oh, great. Oh, oh excellent. Excellent. Wow. And that could be the winner with I 10 minutes to go. I do not believe it. The footage on that is going to be great. He's got the GoPro, front and center, and he just didn't give up on it. He got in he there. He probably needed to come out a little bit earlier there. His chest control in the box. But the chest the assist was amazing. That was amazing. I mean, Will and Eve. Like, he's ruined it with the, with the C. Yeah, shame. Real shame. Grow up. JJ says no. To be fair, it's not really enough. Oh, you come away with the ball interesting. Absolutely. Oh, look at his speed, though. Yeah, good cross. Good awareness. Good awareness to know he's just going to beat him out. All right, keep. Look alive. Amazing! That's the goal of the game. That's the goal of the game. Holy! That was the goal. That was amazing. The cross from Toby was exemplary. What a fucking cross. What a header. And I mean, no no shame to the goalie on that one. That's just an amazing shot. Great cross. We could be going to penalties here. Seven apiece. Look at that. With the right outside foot, too? Look how he crossed this. penalties here. Seven apiece. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that was fucking amazing. brilliant finish. The cross, though, he saw something. Not many yeah, generally, generally, keep should go out there and punch the ball. But the still, I mean, hey, that was a, that was a little outside. That was hey, great. They've been under the radar today. Yeah, they're well and truly on it now. Toby with they're brothers? Goals. Oh, that's Definitely great. One assist, maybe more. I've lost count, to be honest. How the dragon could do nothing about that. I mean, from what I've seen, oh, you got I think Sidemen's team is way better. Like, the goals they have got... I think are way better. It seems like YouTube's teams is just taking more shots from from distance and they go in. Oh a big mistake. God. He's onside. Simon looking for Toby. Oh. He's a bit heavy on the pass. All right, big clear here. Stops it. The thing about Anderson Gibbs, okay. he's got so fit. Not right the greatest clear. He's actually contributing. What are you doing? Hammer. What are you Hammer. doing? That's Third bad. That's bad. That's bad D. That's bad goal keeping. He's 
got the golden touch. Great shot. If that Great is shot, a though. Goal, well, we've just seen a winning goal of the highest quality. My God, he has got it. He is. I mean, I, clearly he was stressed here. I think he was outclassed. The defense here seemed to be overwhelmed, and he didn't think he would be able to like. Like, you should just kick it out right. You know what I mean? Kick it out right, run to it, and then kick it downfield. In he just immediately tries to clear it. Where, but where is everyone else? Justin Gibb had done so well tracking back, but he did get the ball straight back to him and we know what Simon can do his technique is I second mean, to none Cal the Dragon is still stood on the edge of your box get back Cal. probably just pass back to be honest if you're that stressed you just pass back oh, what a game this has been genuinely 15 goals get over to SimonFC.com but I guess I don't know if I trust my keep right there you've been spoiled today here we go this is the moment who gave him that card Theo Baker the regent forward he hits it Pie face oh, oh pie face! And the, referee the clutch! Put the whistle to his lips, and it's all over! It's and it's an empty time. comeback from the side men. Pie face will be delighted with that one. Not many goalkeepers get to concede seven and still win. Eight seven. <laughs> one of the best what a funny thing to say. Seen, especially, well, definitely on YouTube. Uh, that was great. That was great. Well produced. Well run. He doesn't use it. Close the whole time. 87th minute. Final goal. Someone said they should have pro keepers. It'd be way worse, right? Like, I think it'd be more authentic to what a soccer match is where you have, like, you know, maybe it's 1-0 or 2-1. But, but like, the, I think one of the good things here is that how many goals were scored. 8-7. to seven. That's great. That's That's more entertaining. You said that? No, someone said it in chat. I just read it. More goals is more fun. As long as it's as long as long it's even. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to see a 10-1 blowout. And this is very even. One nil. Yeah, sure. It would be 0-0 zero, zero with pro keepers? No, I don't believe so. I, I think Sadman's team would have scored at least one. 100%. 100%. Mini Minter gets one in. They had some great fucking plays. And there's no defense for the keeper, even if there's a pro keeper in there. Look up speed's header. I show speed header. Uh, I only see that him score. Oh, misses header. A little, a little bit high. It was a little bit high for him. Just a wee bit high for him. No, Beck was good. Going in, he was supposed to be one of the better ones. That's what people were saying. I think Simon was great. Simon's mini mentor, right? Simon, Toby was a pff, top two. Maybe three. Manny. Chunks was a lot, hey, a lot better than I thought. You should react to Afghan's video next. It's pretty funny. Afghan's video? Is Afghan's donating this to me? Oh, good job to Avgans for already implementing YouTube Shorts in the main channel. Smart move. Now, Avgans, rather than reformatting content that you filmed for long-form videos and making a trailer that you post on your main channel, make original short content that you post. You know, that you specifically record vertical on an iPhone for Shorts. I'm going to name some animals. You They'll perform a bit better because you'll care a bit more. As opposed to just hoping that they pop. Even though they seem to be doing well. Seem to be doing very well. Mm, meow. Uh, Atriok reacts to asking what f furries, what Ludwig and Friends personas. 
What do you think this persona is? Hey homies, Afghans here. Ludwig has a lot of friends, from the yard, to Atriok, to Stans, and even his girlfriend, Cutie Cinderella. They popped a bit. I think Afghans can post a short that gets a million views easy. And you know what other word starts with F other than friends? Furries. So I'm at Furry Week in Atlanta to ask furries what they think all of these friends and Ludwig's personas are. What's your name? My name is Milk. Benzie. Fairy Dragon. Would you say that uh, you're a little spoiled? Uh, What's your persona? This is a StarCraft Zergling from Blizzard. It's an alligator. Alligator. Any specific type of alligator? Just an American alligator. An American alligator. All Amen, American. brother. Oh, yeah. I have a picture of some people. I want to show you that picture. I want you to tell me what you think their persona is. You want to try? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome, awesome. What do you think this person's persona would be? Mm, I'm imagining like a... I would go for Atrioc like an armadillo. You know, smooth on top, real leathery skin. <laughs> Bear. I'm going with a parrot. He looks like a pompous fox. Like a very full of himself fox. Yeah. That's actually spot on. I would say like a field mouse or something. I'm getting dragon vibes, but at the same time, no. I don't know if it's, a, if it's western or eastern. I feel like he'd be like a noodle dragon. You said pompous. Like, what, what the fuck is a western dragon? What about it do you think? He just looks full of himself. Like he just won an award or something and he thinks he's better than everyone? He won an award and it's probably about that big and it's on his mantle somewhere. I just like the flowiness of it all like his outfit his hair i feel like that's like eastern dragon vibes are you more of a scooby oh, english or dragons. pluto homie if pluto wasn't earned by uh, like owned by disney i think i'd like go with him but pluto's such a raw name i think i'm going with scooby-doo though because you know he says rut row like come on it's how true. can you beat that scooby-doo is not owned by the man no nah, not by the man yo fuck the man dude he's the modern buddha we got I can't believe I've been clickbaited. Got to learn from him, you know? So what's Shaggy in that instance? Shaggy? Shaggy? I don't know. He's just some fucking dude. He's just some stoner yeah. motherfucker. What do you think my persona is? That's what A I'm what? Thinking. Yeah, otter. Otter? otter? Yeah. I like the idea of throwing in the, the drawing of it. I get it. You're fucking live. You haven't even shown me yet. Huh. An otter? Hey homies, I know what you're thinking. Avgans is just gonna say he's live and farm cloud and ask for another collab, but you're yeah. wrong. What? Because none of you will respond to my DMs. True. <laughs> the streamer awards voting is right around the corner. And what better time than now to have someone in mind for your next rising star streamer nominee. But who could that be? Why not vote for me? Afghans for your next Rising That's Star fair. streamer nominee. And if you don't think I'm worth your vote, vote how Afghans. about some vouchers from some people you saw at the Streamer Awards this year? That's weird. Usually it's supposed to play. Anton, I saw you picked up Afghans. That was so sweet of you. You freaking angel. Not for picking them up, but for spending time with them. That sounds miserable. Fucking <laughs> Afghans. You fucking oh. It's almost like when Afghans, like if Afghans offline has more viewers than he has him. online. <laughs> and I don't think Hello. Are you done? Oh, okay. I'll finish this and I'm, I'm good. What is it? It's Avgan's video. Oh, I haven't seen it. It's what persona everybody is. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. Cool. Be up in a bit. These are good. All my homies hate Avgan's. And if that doesn't convince you, the only thing left to say- Is that edited? I think these are good. All my homies hate Avgan's. And if- I did, that, that, what, did he just randomly match that voice? clip to not me saying that it. doesn't convince you the only thing left to say is please collab with me i'm begging you it is so hard to grow i literally who is this fucking guy okay i think he's a twitch streamer so maybe like uh maybe like a house cat like you know he never goes outside he just kind of sits streamer. down all the time you know kind of scratches the sofa a little bit he's like there you know like like looking why is the guy in the first suit embarrassed to say he knows who i am Like, no fucking shame. Run what makes you happy. But my brother in Christ, can you just, like, clearly you know who I am here. You paused when you saw me. You said I'm a Twitch streamer. It can't be that cringe to admit you've seen me. You're in a fursuit. Why are you ashamed of me? 
in his armpit or something. Hmm. I think she's a golden retriever. A golden retriever. Yeah. So he's kind of like a like kind of a masculine kind of tomcat that just kind of fucks around. You think it's kind of like a Chad? Definitely a Chad. Definitely a Chad. Definitely a Chad. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> why is he why is he like uh, I'm thinking about a fair right now cuz cuz I see he might be a little lanky so I think actually Aatrox persona is like Sly Cooper you know I I I, what think, is that he, I think he would be cute is that as a fair? Like this fine list boy you know what I mean a deer you said a deer a deer her hair is Deer's nice good. and it's like long and and blonde and she just looks really kind I get attitude vibes from the picture yeah. and and deer are very fickle creatures what do you think of the <laughs> Smash Bros fandom. Smash Bros isn't a real video game. Real fighting game is one where it's like one guy on one side of the screen and then another guy. It's a button basher. It's like a game for kids. If you did have to choose. Thanks for your opinion. You probably shit at both. It's like a persona. Like what is your, what is your persona? Uh, I like Shiba Inu dog. Have you heard of Shiba coin? Oh my God. <laughs> I lost like a lot of money in Shiba coin. I would say a punk rock cat. Oh, orangutan. Orangutan. They're using 2016 R4 slash Kappa opinions. I'm not going to clear. Just because Sonic Fox is the best FGC player in the world doesn't mean that you can put on the Fursona and then start talking shit. I'm not going to elaborate anymore. Orangutan. Orangutan. Not a gorilla. Definitely like an orangutan. Kind of like around that. A fun monkey. Fun little monkey, yeah. Probably have like a lip piercing about right here. You probably have a nose piercing. Any personality traits you think would be a part well, of? He'd be an asshole. <laughs> Do you uh -huh. think Tom from Tom and Jerry gets a bad rep? Honestly, I feel like Jerry kind of treats him poorly. Like Tom's just trying to, he's trying to chill. He's trying to like, you know, like sip out of that milk dish or something. And Jerry just like flattens that fucker's head with like an animal. Tom like, fucks them fair. a lot. Fuck Jerry. Fuck Jerry. Fuck Jerry the mouse. <laughs> <laughs>